This is going to be a continuation of uh, the uh, first letter of the first name, which is uh, uh, how we introduce people into our lives from, from our birth. So we're talking about the first letter of the first name introduces people into our life at birth and thereafter. And the identification of the first letter of the first names is the start of uh, life's people coming into our life. Now, uh, if we look at the letter V, it's a Uranus letter, and that relates to people born on the 4th, 13th, 22nd, or 31st day uh, of any month. And because Uranus, as we said before, is associated with the sun, it's 1 hyphen 4, uh, it, it would also associate with people born on the 1st, the 10th, the 19th, or the 28th of any month. But the Uranus letters themselves are DM or V. Sometimes a V could be in a name. It doesn't have to be a, a, an actual initial. Sometimes a letter like that is what we call an indicator as to who it is. Now, with the sun letters, that's A, J, or S, as well as I said, the 1st, 10th, 19th, or 28th of any month, and of course, Leo and Aquarius. It sounds like a lot, but there's two uh, planets that are associated with different planets, and that's the sun and Uranus and the moon and Neptune. Uh, and that makes sense because it's the moon and water, which everybody knows is closely associated. Now, if we look at the letter W, it's a Mercury letter, and it relates to people born on the 5th, the 14th, or the 23rd of any month, and an E, N, or W initial, first, middle, or last name. And it has to do with either a, a June or a Gemini person and a, or a September or Virgo person. So sometimes you have to be very aware of initials, what day a person is born in a month, and also the sign of someone. You, it may only be the sign that uh, indicates one person, and it may be the day of the month that they're born, 1 through 31, of another person, and with another person it might just be the initial. Now, an X is a Venus letter, and it relates to Taurus or Libra people. So May or Taurus, and also October or Libra. And those born on the 6th, 15th, or 24th day of any one of the 12 months. And, uh, you know, X is a little bit of an unusual letter. I, I would say if it's any place in the name, that would be a great indicator. But uh, we're trying to mostly say thrust letters. Because in certain names... They'll start with X, but they'll be pronounced as a Z, and that would count too. Now, the Y letter is a Neptune letter. It, it relates to people born on the 7th, 16th, or 25th day of any month, and letters G, P, or Y. Again, if a Y could be in the name. And because uh, it's a Neptune letter, it's associated with the moon, like I said, those are the two associations. And that's people born on the 2nd, 11th, 20th, or 29th day of any month and are having a B, K, or T initial. Now, if we look at the letter Z, it's a Saturn letter. And that relates to January or Capricorn, and again, February Aquarius. February Aquarius is the sun, the moon, or Saturn. And people born on the 8th, 17th, or 26th day of any month and having an H letter or a Q or a Z any place in their name uh, is very possible. That will be an indicator of somebody that's in somebody's life or, or comes into somebody's life at birth. Because the first letter, the thrust letter of the first name introduces people into our life. I've done research on this, and this is what I found. And in, in a way, it's simple. But also, the letters relate to uh, the planets, the day of the month, uh, 1 through 31, and also uh, letters like uh, AJS or DMV or whatever. And those are good indicators, as well as signs like Gemini or Virgo or whatever. 
So uh, when somebody's very aware, you'll be surprised how sometimes some of these people have uh, two of the things. They may have a, one of the uh, initials and also a day of the month, or they'll have a sign and an initial. And it doesn't have to be two, even one's an indicator. But it, it, this is a very interesting study, and I found it to be true. We'll take care.